Good morning. I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting here in Needham, Massachusetts. Uh, we do a weekly podcast uh, where we sometimes do tutorials. We show you what's going on in the shop, new yarns. Um, and today I wanted to tell you what our lineup is going to be. I'm doing a, uh, probably toward the end of the podcast, I'm going to do a tutorial on Magic Knot. And it truly is magic. You, we always say no knots in knitting, but this knot works. So to avoid having to weave in a million ends, you can do a magic knot. And you get good at it, gets kind of quick um, uh, as you learn to do it. And it just avoids having to do that sort of pain in the neck weaving in. It also, um, sometimes with more slippery yarns, those um, woven stitches can kind of come undone. So uh, we'll show you that. I wanted to talk to you about um, our offer of free shipping for the month of April. Uh, we ship, we'll ship to Alabama, we'll ship to California, we'll ship to Chicago, um, anywhere in the U.S., the continental U.S., for free, 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 free. So um, you can stock up and um, get a bunch of stuff shipped to you for free from our online shop. You can also um, call the shop to order. If you see something uh, that we're talking about, if you see something online, uh, you can also call. You don't have to um, and give us a credit card. And we ship really fast. So um, take advantage. Shipping is, you know, we're giving you a deal, so take advantage, and we're shipping a lot of stuff out lately, so um, join the fun. Uh, I wanted to show you next some ideas that I had for things to knit, and then I'm going to show you some something new in the shop. So the first thing, somebody, a guy came in recently and said, you don't have any men's sweaters here. So I thought about that, and I thought, you know, a lot of us do knit sweaters. For I made a great sweater for my son, and I really liked it, and he likes it. So um, I searched around the internet, and I found a really nice V-neck pattern um, from Martin Story called Bark, B-A-R-K, and he knits it in felted tweed. It's just regular V-neck, standard men's raglan sweater. And the colors I chose, we're going to get a sample made. The color I chose was, this is called Rage, and it's in felted tweed. And that's what he um, does his pattern in felted tweed. And I just love felted tweed. It's soft, it's warm, it's light. It's got a little bit of alpaca in it. And it's great for a nice sweater that you can wear under a coat. You could wear, a man could wear it, a man could wear it under a suit jacket. And then it has on the sleeves and on the neck, there's just one or two rows of a contrasting color. So these are the two that I chose. This is called um, Carbon, and this is called Rage. And I just love this red. I think it's um, great. And it's a, you know, it's not a fire engine red, and it's not a burgundy. It's just a red, maybe with a touch of orange in it. So I wanted to show you a couple other colors that I thought would be um, some really good colors for men that we have. This one, I love this color. This is um, called Seafarer. And this is charcoal gray with little flecks of blue and gold and white in it. This one is Scree, which I love this beautiful blue. And could you see some handsome guy with blue eyes wearing this? be beautiful. And this one is pine. It's a gorgeous green. I love this green. And these all have flecks of other colors in them. This one is a very sedate sort of gray. It's called ancient. And it's got a touch of caramel and white in it. Um, very, just a standard nice gray. This one is a little bit brighter blue called maritime. Again, gorgeous on a guy with blue eyes you know any of those sorts. And then this one is just plain called black. It's very close to the Seafarer, but the Seafarer I think has more 
blue, blue to it. I think this is really, if you get it outside, and this is really a black. So I recommend that. It's just your standard um, pattern. Uh, and I think, I'm not sure that this, this is not top down, but you could adapt it to top down if you want it, or in the round, sorry. Um, but it's just a, a good, easy pattern. And so if you have a guy in your life you'd like to knit for, um, of course now I forget which color I took out. I think it's that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is a pattern that we're going to get knit up. Um, nice choice for spring. It's called Beach Wrap. And this is it. And it's just a, you know, triangular, well, it's not a real triangle. I think it's an offset, what do we call that? I'm Asymmetrical. Forgetting. Asymmetrical. Thank you, Robin. Um, and it calls for, I think it calls for a worsted weight, but we chose to do it in with a larger needle, it says a 10, but I would use maybe an 8. And we chose to do it in the Saniscarn Lena. And I love this color. I think this would be beautiful for a summer wrap. This is a linen and cotton blend. So it's perfect, perfect for summer. And I think the, the sort of openness and laciness of this would be great for a summer evening. So I highly recommend it. Simple simple pattern. Um, you can always tell when the instructions, well, they do line by line, which is really nice for some of us who like to read patterns that way. Um, row by row, I should say. So that's a fun one. And then I wanted to show you a pattern that I'm doing with a yarn that I'm going to get in the shop because I just love it. This yarn is from Katia, and um, it's a company in Spain, and it's a cotton and cashmere, and, and I just love, have loved knitting with it. This is the pattern. It's called Winslow T, and I'm actually going to make it three-quarter length so it, I get a little bit more season out of it so I can wear it in the, the spring and the fall and the summer. It, and I just, there's something just beautiful about the way this knits, how it feels, and this is just a simple, this design is, these are just two rows of slipping the same stitch. And I find, I'm a color person, so I love, and I love stripes. So I love this because um, these colors, I think, go well, and it's fun to sort of knit one color and look forward to the end of that because you can go on to the other. And there was something interesting I noticed when I was doing this. This, these two, this color and this color are the same, but when I began knitting with it up here next to this pink, somehow it looked much darker than it did down here. Now it doesn't anymore because I've added the, the um, this, which is the same color as this. But it was such a funny thing to see how colors change when they're next to another color. And this, when I started, after I finished this color and started knitting this, looked way darker than it did down here. It doesn't anymore, doesn't now, because of this color is the same as this. But it does kind of tricks your, fools your eye a little bit. Anyway, I recommend this pattern. I'm going to order this yarn today, so it will be in the shop um, in the next week. They, they ship this pretty fast. And I, I like this because there are a lot of people who just can't wear wool. This has cashmere in it, which is not from a sheep, and it's only 10%. Um, and this is soft as can be. And I, I suspect it's going to be reasonably warm. Um, but for those women who are hot flashing, not that warm. So I think you can um, wear this. <coughs> a big surprise came this morning, Fiola. Our wonderful Fiola came in with these new bags that she has made, and she is such a genius and so creative. Um, this bag stands up, 
and you can see how tall it is. So it will hold a sweater project. has these great canvas handles. And then she gives you the surprise inside. And then there's another surprise because I'm going to unzip the, she has a pocket in here that zipped. And then she has another color inside there. And then on the outside, so this is great. You can carry this as your purse if you wanted, um, or just throw your wallet and your phone. And then in here, she also does other colors. And of course, she's put her radish top design. So this would be a great bag to take with you to go to knitting class, to go wherever you're going. And you can throw your, you could even put your phone in here or your wallet or your money, credit card in here and here, and then zip them closed so that they're secure. And um, these colors are just fabulous. I'll show you this one and the inside is this. And let's see the surprise inside here is that color. So fun. And on the outside, she has this great blue zipper and that same print on the inside of the pocket. So that one is fun. And this one, I think, is, as they say, the bomb. It's fabulous. Look at the inside of that. And those of us who are bird lovers love this. And let's see what her surprise inside here is. That great little print reminds me of an aboriginal design. So it has all these birds. And I'm going to guess that that's what's, yeah, that's what's on the inside of this pocket. So these bags are in the shop today. So you can call or come in. I've only got three, so you better get them fast. They're going to go, but we'll get her to get more. Um, and you could also order from her, I think. Um, and remember, free shipping, so you could get this shipped to you for free. Free, free, free. So let's talk about upcoming workshops. We have the wonderful Bruce Weinstein coming on May the 13th. It's a Saturday, all day. Um, we have um, an all day option where you can come for the whole day and you keep Bruce brings lunch. And Bruce is a cookbook author as well as a knit um, wear author. Uh, so he brings a vegan lunch, and those of you who have attended before know how delicious it is. Uh, Bruce has a wonderful way about him, and he has lots to teach. He's going to do, um, in the morning and the afternoon, different woven stitches. I think the morning is a single color, and the afternoon is um, a two-color or multicolor woven um, stitch with a project for each. So um, you can sign up online Robin soon. soon but you can call the shop and uh, or come in if you're in the neighborhood and um, sign up so you'll you'll want to do that it's it's just a lot of fun and you know since we've had we have been at Bruce here since before COVID we, he was supposed to come right as COVID um, began as we locked down um, so it'll be great to have him come back in the shop and it's always great to get a fresh um, view on knitting we also have coming up Julia Farwell Clay, who is a knitwear designer who lives locally near here. And she has put together a series of patterns in Manos yarns. So she teamed up with Manos and designed, um, I think there are five uh, patterns. One is a sweater that I'm dying to do, and I have to talk to her about that. She's going to come, and um, this is on April 29th in the afternoon. I think it's 1.30 to 3.30, but we'll double check on that. And um, you'll love meeting her. She's energetic. She's brilliant in her designs. They're just beautiful. 
and she's going to give you her tips and tricks. Um, so if you have some, even some suggestions, you might, um, you could respond on YouTube or you can text us with some, uh, some ideas, things you want to learn, and she will add that to her repertoire. So you'll learn about her journey in knitting and designing, and she will show, I think she's going to show the patterns for um, the Monos um, trunk show that she did. I'll see, even see if I can get the trunk show here by then. There is a trunk show going around so you could see her patterns. Um, the third um, workshop, that's, I'm having trouble finding words, which is an everyday occurrence with me. Um, the other workshop coming up is Knit Companion. And if you don't know about Knit Companion, you're going to want to do this workshop. Fiola, who has been using it for a long time, it's a program that you can use on your laptop or your um, tablet. tablet. And it links um, to Ravelry, and you can put all your patterns. You no longer have to have paper patterns if you don't want. You, can, you don't even have to print them. You can just put them into Knit Companion. And what it does is um, it saves your pattern, it highlights every row, it um, keeps track of your rows, um, keeps track of every stitch, it highlights things, um, and... Can I say what the best feature is? Oh, Robin will tell me. I was looking at my notes here. It. And it's great. There are six separate counters that you could just click on. So, you know when you're doing a sleeve and you have to every seven uh, stitches, every uh, Oh, yes, 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 and yes. more than your one. <gasps> oh, you yeah. You have several. So you have, you have several se counters. So it will count when it says, at the same time, do this. It will keep track of that. It also has videos embedded. So you can watch a video of something you're doing um, I looked at this the other night, so I'm pretty sure it works. Um, th and it shows you as you're working how to, and it shows your pattern, so it shows you how to do what you want to do. Um, so, um, and it mm, does a whole lot of other things. In any case, you definitely um, will want to know about this. There's a free version, I believe, and then there's a more expanded version that you would pay for. Um, so I highly recommend that. You'll, you'll find it great. And um, I am confess I'm a paper person. I don't like carrying my tablet around. It annoys me. But many, many of you do and love having your tablet with you. And save a tree. Don't, you don't have to print out patterns. Well, so it's a good, away. good, there's, oh yeah, Robin says she put her printer away because she doesn't have to do it anymore. Great. It's a good thing. So, Magic Knot is a method of joining one new skein to an old skein, um, and it eliminates the um, necessity of having to weave in ends, and some people find that really painful. So um, this is a really good method, I think, for, for doing that. Uh, you're going to take, so let's say this is my old, this is my new. Um, you're going to make a simple knot. Just like that. Okay? Everybody knows how to do that. I'm going to take the other yarn and feed it through here from the back to the front and I'm going to tie this tightly around it. Okay? So then I'm going to take my, did I call this my new yarn, and make a knot. And old yarn is going to come through here, same as on the other. And I'm going to take this and tie it tightly around there. Then I'm going to take a hold of the old, the old and the new and pull. Make sure you have the old and the new, not the, not the two ends of the old. And I pull it tight, 
and there you have a magic knot. And then you can trim this. Now, you would never want to do this in the middle of a row because you do end up with a bit of a knot. But that knot does not come undone. And then you can just trim it. And there you have your, so this is great at the end of a row. Um, it's really good if you have a yarn that you're afraid, if you weave it like a silk or something, you're, that you're afraid the weaving won't hold up, this will hold up. So that is a magic knot. I recommend it. And next time I'm going to show you another method, which is called a Russian join. So we'll do that uh, next week. I think. So that's magic loop. Try it. You'll like it. Magic um, knot. Magic knot. I did that this morning, too. I was showing my class, and I said magic loop. No, it's not magic loop. That's another trick. Um, this is magic knot. So remember, if you have some ideas for um, Julia Farwell Clay, she's got a whole list of tips and tricks. But if there's something in particular that you are curious about, she might have a quick shortcut or a tip um, that she uses that I don't and I haven't shown you. So. That could be a lot of fun. So spring is here. Uh, flowers are coming up. And it's time for spring knitting. So we've got lots of spring yarns in here. We've got cottons, cotton and silk. We have cotton and linen. Um, so good choices. So there's no reason not to knit in the spring and the summer. I knit all year round. Some people put their wool, wool away for the um, for the summer, and I can't blame you, uh, you don't necessarily want to knit with wool, but um, I love to knit with cotton and I love to knit on the beach. And Robin's showing me a wonderful knit. And this is called Summer Tea. And this is um, knit in chai from Barocco, which is a- 80 degrees next week. Oh, Robin said it's gonna be 80 next week. Are you kidding me? So this is a perfect one. And this in chai is a beautiful linen blend. And it ha this particular pattern has a great design, which is kind of a faux cable um, on the raglan in the front and the back. I recommend this. This is lightweight, airy, beautiful. Um, and these are some of the colors. We probably have shown you this before, but it definitely bears repeating. And this is linen and silk. So there's beautiful gray, gray and red, wouldn't that be fun? Or gray and sort of a charcoal y color, or am I seeing this wrong? Um, yep, it's charcoal. And here's that lovely um, brown color. And gosh, this gray goes with everything. And here's a blue. So I know these skeins <coughs> are messy, there's nothing we can do about that. And they even try to wrap them nicely with two things, but it's unavoidable. They're going to come apart, but that's okay. We don't, we don't care. We're going to knit with it. So those are, that's a recommendation. Come in, see what we have. Um, and remember, I know I sound like a broken record, free shipping this month. So take advantage. I hope you have a great week of knitting. And for those of you who celebrate Passover, happy Passover. Um, I hope you had a good good um, holiday. And Easter is on Sunday, so happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. It's a joyous time of year. Take care. Bye-bye.